in the blue corner. This fighter is 32 years old. He weighed in at 88.2 kilograms. He stands 178 centimeters tall and has a record of 27 wins, 15 losses with only one draw. He is a BJJ black belt, the international MMA tournament winner in Russia, France and Germany. From Brazil, Charles! And now his opponent in the red corner. This fighter is 22 years old. He weighed in at 93 kilograms. He stands 185 centimeters tall and has a record of two wins and no losses. He is the amateur Russian MMA champion 2013, amateur European champion 2013, world champion 2013, and master in sports in mixed martial arts. From Dagestan, Rashid. Okay, blue corner, red corner, center of the ring. You both know the rules. Listen to my command. Protect yourself all time. Make it a good match. Shake hands. Step back to your corner. This is a light heavyweight fight between, in the blue corner, Charles Andrada of Brazil, and in the red corner, Rashid Yusupov Judge. of Dagestan. Judge. Judge. <laughs> Judge. Time ready. Both fighters fight itching to get out. Well, here we go. Brazilian Andrade, very comfortable and confident coming in this fight. He's an aggressive fighter, seen him fight before. Doesn't leave anything to chance. But he's up against the unbeaten fighter, Yusupov, in his hometown, or his home country of Russia. Yeah, he closed the distance straight away. We know he comes forward attacking Charles Andrade, and he closed the distance immediately, and they've gone into a clinch. We've been kind of locked up. Definitely on the ground where he wants to be. He can strike, but he kind of swings to the fences a little bit and throws all of his power into it. Definitely wanting to be on the ground. Huge wealth of experience to Andrade. Ian. A lot of experience compared to his opponent, Yusupov. But obviously Yusupov is an amateur champion. He's amateur in Russian, European and world MMA tournaments. Just got so, tied up slightly there although, the although the professional record is only 2-0 oh, oh, of Yusupov, don't let that fool you. He has won a lot, a lot of amateur bouts. Yeah, it looks for Andrade to start to attack straight away here from the bottom. He's got head control. So stepped in just, re you know, as a late notice fight, That's, so it's 88 kilos against the 93 kilo light heavyweight but he's took this fight last minute obviously very very confident and he has got that experience Kathy. yeah definitely i mean it's five kilo difference which is quite a lot but uh, he's confident what he does he's had many many fights as you can see i'm not scared to go out of his own backyard you know winning tournaments abroad already well, for a BJJ champion, black belt, got the guard closed quite tightly. Robotai, Robotai, action. Do you think he's looking Over to get this stood up? Not quite, not working for submissions. Again, we've got similar to where in the last fight, just sort of tied up. And that's what it looks like he's trying to do. It looks like he's just trying to get the over. Yeah, not one, not one single movement which would indicate he's going to try and set something up. I mean, we have seen him in his fights, sort of, as you say, swinging for the fences, you know, looking for those big shots, but that's not really his game. His game is the groundwork. Obviously, favours being on top because in the guard here, not really working. There's the first sign of it. Going for a figure four lock. From bottom position, they he's trying to lock it up there now. Knight leaves it. Hope is it, hope is it, hope. Good call stop. by the referee, stand it back up. No. Oh, it's the lace that's come loose. The lace of the gloves come loose. I thought he was going to stand it back up. But I don't think it's long before he will stand it back up here. Yeah. Fight is ready. Fight! Marco, good referee, likes to keep the action going. <laughs> And here, Andrade has him completely tied up. Got him tied up, but he's losing on the points, you know, it's like... Break! Stand up. Good yeah. call. 
I like Martin Moore as a referee. He doesn't like to see. I, I was just going to say, it, it, his timing is pretty good. Oh, nice body off. Body kick. Defense to take out jump guard. Well, back to where we were. Why jump guard? You need a pull of submission, Andrade. It just seemed a strange tactic when he didn't look to be wanting to do anything from guard in the last sort of three minutes. We know he can strike, he didn't really sort of use any of that. Maybe he's looked at his opponent and been wary of the uh, of something. You know, he's, he's an unbeaten professional, he's got a lot of wins and championship wins as an amateur. Maybe Andrade's a bit uh, thinking, look, I need to be on the ground and... Yeah, he's not even scoring points, even. but when, you, when you've been in guard for the opening... Well, two, three minutes of the first round and not being able to submit him, jumping guard is just a silly thing to do. I'd like to see the reason why he did it. Maybe he doesn't want to get tagged. I'd like to see him let these hands fly now. He's threatening. <laughs> Making funny faces, that's about it to me. Too hesitant, way too hesitant. Gets tagged on the way in again. Well, he's got 20 seconds to do something. He paused, God, he dropped to his back. I just don't understand the mentality of that. Ian, after that big entry, did you expect a little more? That was better than the action, to be honest. Well, Rashid needs to make the most of this now before the round finishes. So Rashid again finishes the round on top position there, Ian. He's, he's took those two rounds. And he's just let those hands fly instead of threatening you, you, you don't mind someone pulling guard if they're working constantly from the back, but... From what we've seen, he's not doing that. He's hesitant when he's standing. Uh, as a bit of BJ Jabot, we'd like to see what we saw from Dodekin in the last fight, Ian, just going to the back, but working non-stop for submissions. Andrade, happy to just tie him up on the floor. Oh, we've got tagged on the way and again, he pulls guard. He kind of clinches and then falls to his back. He was a half hard shoot. Now. Yeah, a little bit better. <laughs> again, he's just in that same position, in the overhook. You know, he's got the guard, he's not working, he's got the closed guard, overhook. Just working out for time, really. Mind your head, mind your head. Marco's not going to let him stay on the floor. No, well, he's just heard him shout action there. He, yeah. He'll give them one more and possibly two. If there's no action, he will stand it up. And this has been the story of the fight, really. Action! He pulls guard, ties him up. Marco has to stand them back up. <laughs> On the floor is threatening, we know he's got those hands, it's just frustrating to not see him using them on the stand-up. <laughs> well, 
Hey, well, I am absolutely astonished. VGG Blackwell, international in, tournament winner, Russia, Come France, on. and Germany. Just under 50 fights, and he's pulling guard and hanging on. Absolutely shocked. I just want to see him let those hands go that we know he's got. That's high kick, that's better. No, if I'm trying to duck the seat, push the fight, let's see Yusupov do it. Ooh, and the spinning back fist. Oh, nice reversal. I thought Andrade was on top for the first time, but no. Yusupov just rolled him over. Again, Andrade just too ready to go to his back. He's too happy. Right, he's halfway into the last round here, and now he has to start working that back. He starts trying to get those legs up. I felt like the last round. See, even then when he got his arm across here and he didn't work up for submission. Do you know, Marco Bruce is the kind of referee where if he feels there's nothing happening on the ground, he could be awarded a yellow card for stalling. You know, you pull guard too many times. We're actually trying to finish it. Robotai, Robotai, come on, action. Give the action. Used to pop pushing him with the head. He must be getting frustrated as well in this position. You know, he's struggling to get enough space to fire anything significant in. Well, the head's, like, the, the head's down constantly. You know, I think people forget you can actually sit back and posture. It opens up a lot more things. Well, Andrade, when he's about to close the gap, you see him shake his hands a little bit. There we go. Used to more of a kicker, Andrade normally more of a puncher. <laughs> Andrade looks very wary of him, I think, he does, here. doesn't he? He's, he's, he's fighting to commit. He's Come fighting because he gets caught or something. Now, this is not the fight we expect. We, you know, no, it's definitely not the Andrade we've seen in the past. Again, gets caught with something, pulls guard. Well, goes to his, falls to his back. Was hoping to pull guard. OK, break. Stand up. 15 seconds. Again, good refereeing in there from Marco, keeps the action going. Well, he should go crazy now, he's had them 10 seconds, he should go crazy. Try and finish, try and do something, you've got 10 seconds of the second round, now you have nothing. Well, that's hurt his knee. Andrade's limp and back to his corner, he should go to him inside leg kick. And that's when Andrade fell to his back, obviously didn't like it, didn't like the pain. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe he has an injury and he thinks I can work better on my back than anywhere else. I was just going to say that he did put that knee strap on his left leg before the fight, and I'm wondering whether maybe he's got an injury there that we don't know about. And that's why I think it's the only way that he can work. Again, Andrade, full guard. You should want totally in control here. On his feet, on the ground. Put his inside leg kick, and the spinner back kick missed it. Final round, Rashid Yusupov. Better on the feet, better on the ground. Charles Andrade limping a little with that knee. 
Goes for the shot, pulls guard again. Have we got this fight on replay from round one? It's definitely a story of the fight, isn't it? He goes in for some strikes, they're going for a clinch, and he just drops back to his back. I'm goal, starting to think now that he definitely has got an injury that he's come in with to that That's left it. knee. Because this isn't how we've normally seen him fight. You know, there's a fine line between pulling out because you have an injury like that or losing the fight. Well, at the moment, he's losing the fight. Oh, without a doubt. You know, he's got to do something pretty special he's to pull this out. He's got a or a knockout. He cannot win even if he dominates this. And his corner will have told him that. There's no <laughs> way he's going to win this fight. At the moment, we're just following the same story. He's just tying him up here. I'd expect you support to start throwing a lot more strikes now. He knows there's not much coming back at him. Oh, wow. He should just stand back and let him back up here. That's what he should do. He's winning stand up easily. And that's what he did. Morgan Bruce should realise he's not going to go down. Let's get you standing. I'd love to see more of those head kicks, you know. Take a few risks, Yusupov. Try the leg kick, then the head kick. He's ready for that sprawl. You can see it coming. That's the only chance. Andre de Haas has been on top and finding a submission because he's definitely not winning the striking side of it. Pulling guard again. Yusupov did the right thing, though, standing back up. I'd like to see him just back off, let him stand up. Stand up. There we go. I feel Yusupov's growing in confidence over oh, oh, oh. He kind of leapt in mid-air, threw that uppercut. He's got a single, what can he do with it? Nothing. Nice sprawl. Pulls guard. That was a great sprawl, hip straight to the floor. Not on the back, not on the back. Yeah, he's just grinding down the round now. Well, obviously, there's no desperation at all from Musipov. He knows he's got this fight. Not in the glove, not in the glove. He just has two not minutes to, to ride it out, and he's got it. Not inside. Again, back to its feet. Will we see the same scenario? Shoot, miss, and then pull guard. I'd like to see some strikes from Yusupov. Work those hands that we just saw earlier. The high kick, maybe. And pull guard, there we go. Shoot, miss, pull guard. I'm very surprised that uh, Marco Bruce hasn't deducted a point. For negativity. Yeah, negativity. Come on, Yusupov, start throwing some strikes. And God, I think he stopped moving now. Oh, nice oh, head kick. Great shot. He's catching him with the mother cuts. Oh, and the knee. Hey, that was jumping guard there to defend him. I got it. That's the ring. Wow. That was a playing guard. Well, we're down to 45 seconds. <laughs> and again, we're back where we've been for the majority of this fight. Break. Four action. Well, 25 seconds. Juicy Paul dominating on all areas of this fight. I want to see some more strikes from Juicy Paul before the end. Got 15 seconds. Both guys just need to let fly now. Yes. Spinning back, he couldn't see that landed clean. Final seconds. And you've got to see it again. It's got to go to Rashid Yusupov. We do go to the digital scorecards, but I can't see going any other way.
know the story of that night. Charles Andrade shooting him, falling to his back, get, keeping a very tight guard. Rashid Yusupov growing in confidence as the fight went on, keeping the top position, but on the strike, he stands back some more and more strikes. I fear Andrade came into this with an injury, not the Andrade we've seen before, but that is a certain win for Rashid Yusupov.